Welcome back to the show, Air Gunners. I'm Chad Kettner, your Air Gun Advisor, and today we're talking budget scopes with Discovery Optics. This is the 5 to 25 by 56 first focal plane PRS scope from Discovery Optics. Let's dig in. The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today in part by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Buck Rail Air Gun Accessories, and Baker Air Guns. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Let's take a second and dig into this scope so we get to really know it. Now, starting with the zoom, it is 5 to 25, like I mentioned earlier. The zoom ring on here is slightly more stiff than I might typically like or expect with a, let's say, $800 plus dollar scope. Now, this is $400, so at, at that price point, I'm not too worried about it. And the throw lever that is on there also makes it a little bit easier, but you really do have to kind of give it a little bit of a, uh, a hard twist or crank to get that thing to move. Parallax adjustment is the same way. It's not super hard, but it's also not the easiest I've ever done. Um, it does go all the way down to what, 25 yards. So for us air gunners, 25 yards, you might like to see a little closer, but I could definitely see this being utilized in a bench rest type of situation. So I'm not gonna complain about that, especially if it's for that purpose. Let's talk about these turrets for a second. These turrets, very, very solid. And these are, amazingly enough, I did talk down these two, the parallax and the zoom ring, but the turrets themselves are really smooth especially at a $400 price point. They're non-locking, so you're not gonna lock them. And they did that because this is meant for and built as kind of like a PRS, where you're gonna be uh, turning your windage and your elevation to adjust for the shots at different distances. So totally get it, don't mind that at all. The tracking on these is very good. It's guaranteed as a matter of fact. Let's take a look, I'm gonna zoom, or not zoom, I'm gonna transfer into some scope footage so you can kind of get an idea. Taking a look at the reticle there, you're going to notice a nice little Christmas tree reticle. And before I really get into this too much, you might notice a little bit of movement. Because of the large eyepiece, or the diameter of that eyepiece, I could not fit my camera on there. I had to actually hold it on there. So keep that in mind. Now on these elevation turrets, very nice. We have 36 MRAD, which is pretty typical. Each click value is 0.1 MRAD. Again, very typical for a scope at this price point in this design. We're going to notice now with the windage, we're going to go to the windage, and that is actually a 17 MRAD of windage. And again, click values of 0.1 MRAD. Not as much windage as you might see in some other scopes, but for what we're doing at 100 yards or even 150 yards with air guns, more than enough. Now this next set of images that you're gonna see, I'm gonna be zooming in and out. And you're gonna see this is a first focal plane scope, so that reticle does change sizes. Now I'll apologize to my camera. For some reason, I could not get it to focus. Now, this is all scopes at different zoom magnifications. I can get individual magnifications, but I can't do them all. Oh, there the camera moved a little bit on there as I'm holding it on. But here we are going to go ahead and focus with that parallax wheel. You'll see how the image kind of pops in there at 75 yards. A little bit of a cloudy day, but really the image stayed really pretty crisp. Happy with that and a nice field of view there as well. As for the eyepiece, we can adjust that. So if you're wearing glasses and you need to have that adjusted so you can see that reticle nice and clearly, Plenty of options there. Let's talk about some of the other features. We got the 56 millimeter objective, 34 millimeter tube, the combination of which, as well as some ED glass, at least that's what they say, allows your picture to be very, very bright, extremely bright for the price point. And I was really, really impressed actually when I looked through it. I thought it'd be a little bit hazy, a little bit cloudy. It wasn't, it was really nice. Now the ED glass is the best ED glass I've ever seen. I got I got to say there probably are different categories, different levels of ED glass. Uh, this is good ED glass. Is it the best I've ever seen? No, but is it really good? Yes. So you know I can't complain there. Again, at this price point, not bad features, and the scope is relatively bright in comparison. I think. A lot of that has to do with the objective size as well as the large 34 millimeter tube. 
help to make that picture just a little brighter. Downsides of this scope. Well, some downsides are it's heavy. It uh, is labeled on Amazon as a hunting style scope. I'm not really buying that. I think it's a little heavy for hunting purposes, especially in the air gun world. Uh, is it a good bench rest scope in the air gun world? Absolutely. For $400, you can see 22 caliber pellet holes in the paper at 100 yards, no problem. So is it going to work for bench rest? 100%. Um, and that extra weight, well, that's going to help uh, with stability as well as keeping the shock or the vibrations down in your rifle as you're shooting. So a little extra weight in bench rest doesn't matter. It is a long scope. This thing is about three inches longer than your typical scope. Does it matter? That's a personal preference kind of thing. It does look a little big on there. You got a three inch sunshade that you can on there. It comes in the box. Um, but you know, what's three inches when you're sitting at the bench, right? I mean, not a bad thing overall, just a personal preference. I'd like to see a little shorter scope. In the box though, you also comes with rings, which is nice. And it comes with a scope leveling kit, which you don't see come with other scopes. And a lot of time when you have a lot of extras in the box, well, that kind of says, well, it might not be a, the best scope in the world. But for 400 bucks, I like the extras. I like the clarity. I like the turrets. I like the reticle in there. There's not much really downsize other than the weight and the size, guys. This thing is really kind of nice. Comes with a lifetime warranty. Uh, if you buy it on Amazon, easy to, uh, easy to exchange, especially in that... Uh, return window time period uh, if you get one that may be a little bit off but overall I'm really pleased with this scope I think you should take it definitely take a close look if you're looking for a budget friendly option and if you're just getting into air guns and want to try some long distance shooting I think this discovery optic might fit the ticket as make sure if you're enjoying this video if you got something from it that you hit the subscribe button Give me that thumbs up. Check out the links down below for all of my sponsors and supporters. I thank you. And until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight, and we'll see you again next time on The Air Gun Advisor.